This next module in data science is about how to retrieve files and import them or export them in common ways from Python. So Python has many functions for reading, creating, or deleting files. And um, really in data science, a lot of what we do is we import uh, files or information and then we analyze data and then we export results. That might be an import from a database or export to a database or a web socket or uh, files. So if you want to just first of all open a file for reading you use the open command and um, we're going to um, do the R there for reading or W is for writing. So we're just going to write in this case, we're going to write to the file, so f dot, and then write, and then we'll create that file and then close it. Okay, and then print out where it's stored, and then we'll go and read and print the file contents. But let's just go to that location. I'm going to uh, just come here, minimize this, and open up uh, data science. So here's the IPython notebook that we're currently running right now. So let's just see if another file appears here. I'm just going to put this off to the side and then we'll just look at some of the files as we're going. Okay, and let me just make that even just a little bit smaller. Okay, and then I'll put this over here and as we run it then we're going to see this 02 file appear and it says this is a test file. Okay, that's what we wrote in the file. Okay, so when you want to write uh, data files, a common form is a comma separated value file. You can also use, do JSON or Excel or others. I'll show you how to write all of those. Okay, common one is the CSV module. We're going to import CSV and then we'll open the file um, just like we did before. But now we're going to use a CSV writer and it's going to use that file name F and then we'll write rows to the file. So we have this data M and we have the header list. So you want to write the header and then um, the data rows. So I'm going to hit control enter and write that. Okay, so here is the file that appeared. And there you can see the um, values. They're just separated with a comma. Now I can also just open it up. Uh, if you have Excel or another spreadsheet program, you could see this in Excel. Uh, and then you could save it, for example, as an Excel file. Okay, so um, NumPy can also write CSV files. Now a lot of times we'll be dealing with NumPy data arrays or pandas arrays. And the way you do that is um, you import NumPy as NP and then we're going to use a save text function with a file name, the data, that's going to be our matrix M. We'll say what our delimiter is. The delimiter is the thing that separates the different data elements. And then comments. Uh, we have to put this here or else it's going to make, um, it's going to put a hash sign in front of the header. And then there's our header. So I'm going to run this one, and here is data2.csv, and we got um, the same thing, although we got some extra zeros there. And there are ways to format this so you don't get all those extra uh, significant figures. Okay, another way is with pandas. Pandas is a package for data analysis, and we're going to create a new data frame with M and then our column list. All right. We have to put the index equals false there, otherwise it's going to print out some row numbers that we don't want. Okay, so here is the third one, and this one should look exactly uh, like the others. Okay, now we can also use pandas to write a JSON file. Here's JSON, okay, so just to JSON. Same thing with the file name. Uh, this is going to orient it as a table, and I'll put index equals false. And then also as an Excel, okay, you may need to have get open PYXL. Well, let's just run it and see if it's already there. 
Okay, so it is. If you don't have um, open PYXL, then you can just put this at the very top and it will install it uh, for you. Okay, so there we have the Excel file. All right, and then we also had a JSON file as well. And so here it is. It can be interpreted, um, the table is a JSON file. All right, so let's do a write activity now. Uh, we want to use NumPy to create 51 equally spaced values for x between 0 and 100. So I'll just do x equals np. And I'll use the linspace function between 0 and 100 with 51 values. And then I'll calculate y equals x squared and z equals x cubed. I think I need z there instead. Okay, and then um, let's see, I want to store those in a CSV file with the headings um, in 02test.csv. So let's do this first of all just with NumPy. And I'm going to use column stack and I'll just put in x, y, and z. And then let's just print data to make sure it's in the right form that we want it. Okay, so there I've done column stack. I could also do a V stack, a vertical stack. Okay, but then that's going to make it, um, it's going to make um, basically in row oriented form. And so I just need to transpose it. And then I get the same thing as if I had done column stack. So I can vertically stack them and then transpose it, or I can just do column stack. Either one will give me the same thing. All right, and then I want to save that. Okay, so I'm going to do mp save txt, and then I'm going to do 02 test.csv, and let's go and do uh, data, comma, delimiter equals our comma, and then our header is going to be xyz, and don't forget to say comments equals uh, blank string. Okay, so here is our 02 test.csv. Let's just go ahead and look at this. There it is with all of our values. But uh, let's say we wanted to do this with pandas instead. All right, so I'm just going to create a new data frame with data frame with data and then columns equals and then this has to be a list with the different names in them so it's just a little bit different than numpy where they're all just kind of in a string right here you separate them as a list and then uh, we are going to do df.2 csv and I'll do 0 dash test csv and I'll do B there just to uh, separate the two so we can look at a, another one and then we are going to do index equals false okay if you leave it it's going to be index equals true and then uh, if you go look at it you're going to be like I didn't want that additional okay so you may not want that additional value there okay here's your index here and we can just leave that off by saying index equals false. All right, let me open it up again. And there you can see that that row designation is gone. I just have x, y, and z. OK, so there it is with the write activity. Now we want to read data files as well. So we talked about writing uh, from Python to the disk. Now um, if we wanted to load text, OK, so for example, uh, here is 02data1.csv. We're just like we did save text. We're going to do load text. We do need the delimiter in there. And then I just put in skip rows because if you don't put in that, um, it, it just wants numbers and it's going to give you an error that says um, you couldn't convert the string to a float. So what we do is we just skip, skip that very first row. 
and then we just get the data. All right, we can also read with uh, pandas. Now this is very convenient. You can either you read a URL or you can read a data file and then print out data.head or you can do something like uh, describe okay and it gives you some nice statistics we'll talk about that later though with pandas okay if you just want the first two rows or the first ten you can change that to a different number by default it'll be the maximum of five or however many uh, sorry the minimum of five or however many rows you have all right, so we want to use pandas to read 02test.csv. And so that's just going to be data and do pd read csv with the underscore in there. And then I'm going to put, um, put this in and then data.head. All right, so there's 02test.csv um, that we had written previously. Now we can also delete files. Uh, we can import OS and we can do OS remove and then the data file that we want. Also the glob module is very nice because it helps us handle large numbers of files and uh, be able to find different files. For example, all of them that are 02-data and then have something here. So all of uh, these, um, okay, those are going to be found by this search because they end in .csv and they start in 02-data. Um, okay, so this one is going to create a file list, a glob file list. And then if the file list is uh, empty, there's no files to delete and we're not going to delete them. Okay, but if the answer is yes and we found some, then we're going to use this os.remove. So it says, uh, do you want to delete these files? And then if we just put yes, then you can see those three files are now gone. And if I run this again, it just gets to this point and says, well, there's there are no files to delete. All right, so for this next activity, you want to delete the file 02test.csv. And so we're just going to do os dot remove 02 test.csv so be careful with this um, you don't want to do a file list that um, deletes things that you don't want to delete all right there is the um, there's the file all right so let's see this one um, is going to be the TC lab activity um, all right, we want to write a data file 02tclab.csv with five columns that includes time in seconds, which is T, heater levels Q1 and Q2, and temperature values T1 and T2. And we'll include a data row every second for 20 seconds. The starting script only prints those values to the screen, but they also need to be saved to a file. So let's, um, let's go and just use the Probably the easiest one for this one is import CSV. We can just write one row at a time. All right, so we have our TC lab open, but the other thing we need to do down here is open up our CSV file. So with open, and I'll do 02 tclab.csv, and the mode in this case is going to be write and then the new line I'm gonna put this in here as um, blank this is needed for Windows um, but for other platforms I don't think you have to have that uh, because sometimes it adds this extra enter in there it's kind of this uh, weird uh, platform dependent um, thing with CSV okay CSV dot writer and I'm gonna create a new writer here and then let me just indent all of this. I'm just going to hit the tab to shift over. All right, then uh, we want to write our first row. So here's our CSV writer. And this one is going to be write row. And then we just want to separate it. Um, we just want to have it as a list. Okay, with all of our values in here. Now this one um, I'm going to go ahead and just do T 
and then Q1 and Q2 and T1 and probably could have just done this as just one string if I wanted to uh, but I just did it as a list so it'll uh, separate it uh, with commas for me. Okay then in our uh, loop here we would normally be printing these out but again we just want to write uh, the row so let me just copy this and probably should have copied that above one as well so we could see the header row and I'll write another row and then let me just make this a list I don't have to make this a string okay and let's go ahead and run it all right and then this is going to create a new file uh, right here let me just go ahead and just uh, oh it didn't close it yet so it hasn't uh, written it I guess okay but once it's done it'll be in this file okay so it disconnected and now let me see if those okay so here are the values the times which are here in this row, the Q1, Q2, T1, and T2. Okay, so we've written our CSV file just in a loop, and um, we did that with import CSV. We opened the file, we created a CSV writer, and then we wrote each row as it came. Okay, the next thing is um, we want to read this file that we've just created and print the first five row and if you don't have a TC lab you can get it from this URL so let's try that um, I'm gonna do data equals and PD read CSV and this one's gonna be 0 to TC lab dot CSV and then do data dot head so I can also say well if the file exists I'll go ahead and just read it and print the heading of it. Um, but if it doesn't exist, then I can say URL um, equals, and then let me grab this. So this shows how we can um, we can read from a data source that's not on our computer from a URL. All right, and I'll do data um, equals PD read. CSV and I'll just plug in the URL and then whichever way it chooses okay and then I'll say print uh, read from URL and if it completes this one I'll say read from file okay so that one read it from a file but if I change this name Okay, then it reads from the URL because it tried to read this, but it couldn't find it, so there was an error. So it went into this accept mode and then read from the URL instead. Okay, so that uh, concludes this tutorial on how to read and write files and delete them as well. I showed NumPy, CSV package, and also Pandas. And we can read and write um, many different file formats. One of the nice things about Python is just the so many ways that you can connect to data sources. Uh, for example, databases, um, in industrial control systems, it might be Modbus, OPC. There are many other types of uh, data sources as well. And the very first thing with data science is you need to be able to import the data into your environment so that then you can start to analyze it. And then after you're done analyzing it, you write it out to some location that could be a plot and visualizing the data that could be some type of analysis you could write it to another computer system or just store it locally